What's frustrating, I think, is the um, is in general a sort of anti-science movement, uh, a, a sort of a. a disbelief in science and that scientists and doctors do this research for people's benefit. Um, what really frustrates me is these conspiracy theories because when you think of how much people dedicate their lives um, to discovering cures, discovering preventions for deadly diseases, and they, we do it for the best reasons, to save the lives of children. And that's what these vaccines have done. They're miracles. And the fact that a, a, fairly well-educated population would doubt that and question that, that's really what I find frustrating. Right now, we're seeing um, the highest number of measles cases um, since the year 1994. Um, and the primar primary cause is imported cases then spreading to unvaccinated people um, here in the United States. And the numbers come from about 15 different outbreaks across the United States. And um, it's among communities where the children are unvaccinated or undervaccinated. The numbers we have now of the cases of measles, the overwhelming percentage are people who have not been vaccinated or unknown. So I believe it's about 69% unvaccinated and 20% more unknown. So it almost accounts for everybody either being under or unvaccinated. If there are rare cases of people who have been vaccinated, we know that the vaccine is 98 to 99% effective. Um, so it could be the rare few who didn't respond to the vaccine or either their immunity waned to the vaccine. We need to be very vigilant about keeping our vaccination rates up. There was a lot of misinformation, myths, and frankly lies in the uh, lay media about uh, dangers associated with vaccines um, that are basically not true. We know that vaccines are extremely safe and extremely effective. Um, Autism linked to a measles, mumps, rubella vaccine has been uh, completely disproved in um, over a dozen large uh, randomized studies. Right now, from what I understand from the reports from the Centers for Disease Control, all the 288 cases which have been reported between January and the end of May of 2014 are people who have traveled abroad um, and people who have been in contact with those, uh, with those victims who have traveled abroad. So there are imported cases and secondary cases. So we haven't seen sustained transmission within the United States, uh, particularly in our well vaccinated areas, but you can imagine it's not a leap of the imagination that that could happen, um, and that is, the, that is the real concern.